What's up everyone, how are we doing today? I hope you are doing fantastically well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can farm some legendaries in the most easiest of way in Borderlands 3. Now, uh, one of the caveats to this is it will be easier to get better weapons if you have completed the game. If you haven't completed the game, that's fine, this will still work. Though the legendaries will be a little bit more rarer to actually find. But you can cycle through and get better epics and better purples and all that sort of stuff. This works for guns, grenade mods, um, your shield, your various other mods, all that sort of stuff. It works for all of it. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because the other day I was hanging out with my buddy Reckless over on uh, his channel on Twitch, link in the description. And I mentioned a way that I used to farm for higher quality weapons ever since Borderlands 1. And he had not heard this method before, and he has didn't know it was an actual thing, and he had he has clocked way more hours in Borderlands than I have, hands down. So uh, I'm going to share with you this little piece of information just in case you don't know it yet. You might do, but you might not. Okay, first we're going to observe. Right now we have the uh, top weapon of the day, item of the day which is a Sublime proto Proton Rifle, right? And we could wait the 17 minutes to see if we can get another, but we want to cycle through it now. So what we're going to do is we are going to exit to the main menu, and this works on any level. As long as there's a vending machine, you can do it. It doesn't matter what level you are. It works the exact same way. The only difference is... In the end game stuff, you have a better chance of being able to farm legendaries as opposed to epics. And I will demonstrate this after I load back in. Because it's it's a very it's a very handy trick to have. Uh, especially if you want to grind up your guardian rank and all that sort of stuff. If you just want to grind out some stuff. Knowing how to get a decent weapon for hardly anything, like hardly any time at all, is a very, very big importance. And now if we come back to the vending machine, as you can see, it has changed to an itchy, overcompensating, uh, baloney pony. And everything else has also changed. This works for all of the stuff. Now, if you have finished the game of Borderlands, or if you have finished the game, you would have unlocked Mayhem Mode. Now what you can do, turn on Mayhem Mode and crank this bad boy all the way up to 10. Now, we're not doing any fighting in Mayhem 10, because that's... Way above my level, but it might not be above your level. You might be uh, cranking out at Mayhem 10. But if you have only just finished the game, here is a good way to get some easy, high damage weapons that you can then take back to Mayhem 1, for instance. So once you're in Mayhem 10, you come back over, and as you can see, all the weapons are now Mayhem level 10 weapons, and they do way more damage than their. Uh, mayhem level 1 or no mayhem uh, counterparts and you can take these weapons back to the original mayhem so let's just head out one more time just to prove just to prove that you can get legendary cycling this way and those of you that are in the know you know that you can get legendaries from the vending machines you can you very much can so if you're struggling to find any legendaries off of bosses this is, this is the trick for you. This is the trick for you. If you're not doing enough damage, because let's face it, in Borderlands, we want to be doing those big damages to basically turn all the mobs into soup. That's what we want. We want to turn them into soup. See, Mayhem level 10, this one does... Something like 30, 40,000, something like that. This one does... Over a hundred thousand per shot, which is really nice. So if you guys are, you know, wanting to, and I'm just going to prove that you can get legendaries from the vending machines in case you think I'm lying, I will cut to a spot where I've gotten a legendary from a vending machine. And this is about the third time round after cutting. There we have Handsome Jackhammer. Let's, uh, let's just give it a little bit of a buy. Let's see what it does. Because, as you know, legendaries, they all have their own funky stuff. Standard sort of thing. Standard affair. 
and it explodes and it bounces. How fabulous is that? Now you can do this across everything and just to prove that you can indeed take the mayhem weapons back with you because you might think, oh come on man, you gotta be lying. No, you can. You 10 out of 10 can. Let's turn off the mayhem, go back to the normal game and see if I do indeed still have my Mayhem 10 weapon equipped it. I know the answer. The answer is indeed, indeed I do have it equipped. There we have it. Mayhem level 10. Regular game. Regular stuff. So, if you want to farm some legendaries, just do what I did and enjoy exploding a bunch of people with an overpowered weapon for a simple sort of area. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there for today. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. And if you want to see more of this uh, sort of little uh, tutorial-esque style content, then uh, be sure to stick around because there's going to be plenty of them in the future.